Hello, everybody. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everyone. 欢迎大家收听今天的早安英文 This is Summer. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。I've got some good news to share. My friend got married last week. Wow! Congrats. Did you go to the wedding? No, they didn't throw a party or anything. They just got the red books. All right. But you see, Colin, when you told me the good news, the first word came out of my mind is congrats. Then I don't know what else to say. Ah, knowing how to congratulate people when they tell you some good news can be a little tricky. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. Today maybe we can talk about that. Okay. 好啊。我们之前讲过呢，如果别人跟你说坏消息的时候怎么回复？那今天我们就来看看，如果别人分享好消息的时候，可以怎么来恭喜他们呢 ？First, we should know that for many cases, saying congratulations is enough. You don't have to worry about saying too little or something because the word can convey the whole meaning. Got it? Because it is congrats. This word means congratulations. But is it congratulations or congratulations? 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 Yeah, yeah. It should always be congratulations with an S. Okay. Maybe just a、uh, one single congratulation isn't enough. <laughs> 不过这个词真的挺长的，有五个音节嘛。Congratulation. 所以呢，在口语中的这种非正式场合，大家就会直接说 congrats. Yeah, it's so much shorter. Congrats. Also, uh, don't forget the S. Oh, 对，这个单词缩写是 congrat， 它是以 t 结尾。后面再加上一个复数的 s， 但是注意 t s 发音就不是 t s， 而是 t， 所以是 congrats. So also note that congrats is used in informal occasions. Okay. 那么在这种非正式的场合，我们除了用 congrats， 还有哪些可以用的 ？What else can we say? Well, adjectives always come in handy. Ones like、um, awesome, fantastic, wonderful. Oh, so we can say that's awesome or that's awesome news. Oh yeah. Or what great news! What awesome news! 哎，那这些是形容词啊。除了这个，是不是还能用一些动词？比如像 nail, like you nailed it. Congrats, Summer! You nailed it. <laughs> Because it's a good expression. Yeah. Here, nail means to make or do something in a perfect or impressive way. 对 ，nail 这个单词做动词的时候啊，意思就是钉那个钉子。大家想要想一下子把钉子钉进去也不简单嘛。所以说 ，you nailed it， 就是说你做到了。You did it. You made it. Another verb we can use to congratulate is rock. Like in this sentence, that rocks. It means that's cool. That's awesome, right? Yeah, but it's a verb, so also don't forget s after the word. That rocks. Okay, so here I think to congratulate someone can be loosely translated to compliment someone, right? Yeah, pretty much. Like if your friend told you that he's got a job promotion or he passed some test, he may want some, you know, compliments. 对对对，所以说在恭喜他们的时候啊，其实也就是变相的夸奖他们。那这里是不是还能用到一些其他的词组？比如说 things like "way to go," "good for you." Yeah, these are the common phrases. And then you can also show your confidence in them by saying, "I knew you could," or "I knew you could do it." Ah,、啊、就是我就知道你能行。And if that thing takes a lot of effort, then we can say, "Oh, your hard work has finally paid off." Ah,、uh, pay off. This word is very good. It means to pay back, pay back. Your hard work has finally paid off. The hard work has 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 paid off. So then, in some formal occasions, like when a big project is perfectly done, or、um, a colleague gets a promotion.、Mm-hmm. We can say something a little bit different. Oh, 就是正式场合如何来恭喜他们？那首先把 congrats 换成 congratulations， 是不是就可以了 ？Yeah, that's one way. So we can say congratulations. You deserve the success. 那这个 congratulations 除了可以单独用，还没有其他的用法。We can say congratulations on something. For example. Congratulations on the good results. Ah,、uh, on something. 注意这个里的介词的使用 Another way is to say, "My sincere congratulations to you," or 
My heartfelt congratulations to you. Sincere 就是真挚的，这个词大家应该是比较熟悉的。那么它呢有个可以替换的形容词，就是 heartfelt。这个词其实也特别好用。You can also feel it with your own heart. Yeah. Then it shows, you know, strong feelings that are really sincere, right? Yeah. 就是我们中文里说的感同身受，你能用自己的心来感觉到，就特别真挚。It's heartfelt. Well, these replies are mostly spoken. When your friends write or text you the good news, we also have、um, different ways of、uh, replying in writing. Because we have more time to think and can write something longer. Well, yeah. There's also a sort of three-step formula we can follow. 还有套路是吗 ？What are the three steps? Well, first, of course, is to send your congratulations, and the more specific, the better. Okay. Then it's to give a compliment on the hard-earned success. Ah,、uh, 就是我们刚刚之前说的表扬一下 ，give a compliment. Yeah, and the last step is to focus on the future with an encouraging comment. Ah. This step is a little bit different to focus on the future. 最后一步还可以展望一下这个未来。那我们来看一个具体的情景，练习一下这三个步骤吧。就假设说我找了个新工作。So, Colin, I've got some good news. I just got a new job. Oh, that's fantastic! Congrats on getting the job. I knew the right position would come along. I hope this is the perfect fit for you. 这个句子不错啊，就是说我就知道你一定会找到好工作的。I knew the right position would come along. 然后加上一句，希望这个工作就特别合适你。I hope this is a perfect fit for you. 那如果想再正式一点，表达说庆祝别人升职，可以怎么说呢 ？Congratulations! That's wonderful news. I'm thrilled for you. You deserve this promotion more than anyone I know. After your years of hard work and dedication, here's to your promotion and all your future success. It's like giving a toast, right? That's quite formal. So it can be used both written and spoken. Got it. 那么学了今天这些表达之后啊，以后别人在分享好消息的时候，你就知道怎么来回复了。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Thank you so much for listening. This is Colin. This is Summer. See you next time. Bye. Bye.